Chapter 126. Real tag. The it is a spider. What? Eat, eat, eat. Little by little, so that I'm not noticed. Scrape it off slowly. Skill proficiency reached. Skill hearsay attack level 1 has become hearsay attack level 2. Kumo here. I'm in a pinch. I'm gradually concerned. What should I do? The monsters disappear. Seriously. Why is there nothing? <clears throat> I, wanted, I wanted it to be why is there nothing left? And then... And we're... <laughs> Should have just said left anyway. It's not caught in the nest, and I, even if I go out, there's nothing. What's going on? No, well, I, I do have an idea about it somehow. Here's a question. A monster came from the middle air. That monster is a dangerous creature that ra uh, releases an outrageous, intimidating air, spreads curse and paralysis, and fire magic continuously. If such a crazy person appears, what do you think will the monsters that inhabit the upper layer originally would do? The correct answer is, of course, they would run away, you idiot! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't that crazy person me? Ah, uh, yeah. If you see me objectively, aren't I outrageously crazy? Then, of course the monsters will run away. After all, getting caught by me equals to being eaten by me. Ah, uh, seriously, what's up with that? If I don't go far in the upper layer, I can't find a prey. The middle layer also, so they keep staying in the magma. Because I still have my satiation stocks, I don't have to worry about starving suddenly, but if I don't think of exploring now, it might be too late. Ah, uh, well, it's not like there's no options. I mean, that's the only one. Space magic level 9, long distance transfer. This magic is a dreamlike magic that I can go anywhere as long as it's in a place that I know. Besides, I want to link it to Wisdom Sama's map, the place where I transfer can be set in detail. I can transfer to every path that I have passed through up until now since I was born. If I use this magic to go to a suitable place, I can choose my prey, but I think that I shouldn't do that. I feel like I should start looking for the exit soon. Therefore, I will expand my field of activities while looking for preys, and I transfer back to home when I'm tired. I think that I should repeat this. If I make the home as a base, I can continue to raise my fire resistance. If I reach to, if I, <clears throat> if it really reached to the point where I can't find any preys, I will go to lower layer. If it's there, I will encounter a monster just by walking a little. I think that the current me won't lose unless the Earth Dragon comes out. Because the Earth Dragon will come when I say something like this, I don't want to go to the lower layer so much. Thus, let's depart to expanding the map. While I'm at it, obtain meal. Monsters in the upper layer is bad, though. I stroll around an upper layer and return home with transfer when I get tired. I continue such a life leisurely. The upper layer's map has expanded considerably. Even if I say that, it's only 10% of the middle layer. The middle layer was really long. I didn't meet such monsters along the way. Well, they are running away from me, so it's natural. Thanks to that, I didn't obtain much experience points and meals. However, there's only one that I obtained that's good in experience points and meal. Although I came out from a similar passage as the middle layer's passage, I encountered the Earth Drake there. It was a guy that looks like a dinosaur. When I thought that I have seen it somewhere, it's the guy that I saw in the crowd of monsters when I was just born. Because there's a considerable distance from that place to here, I think that it's a different individual of the same species. It was strong when I fought it. Ah, it was strong. I restricted it with threads, completely stopped it with Evil Eye of Stasis, and absorbed it until nothing with the Evil Eye of Grudge, but it was strong. I'm sure that it must have been strong. It's that. I, who is the dragon killer, as if a drake can be my opponent. Come to think of it, I won against the fire drake comparatively easy. There's a wall that can be surpassed with a dragon and a drake in strength. Thanks to this guy, my SP stock has increased and the experience points was very delicious too. Unfortunately, the taste was not delicious. Thanks to the evil eye of grudge absorbed it, my SP stock reached the max value without eating. It's good that I have extra SP. With this, the starvation curse course is considerably distant now. The corpse that I was not able to finish eating was left enclosed with my threads, and when my SP decreases, I will just transfer there to eat it little by little. The experience points is also delicious. Because it's approximately equal with the fire drake, I'm getting closer to level up, but still, it's not enough. But if I continue with this condition, I will level up soon. In that case, I can finally evolve. Although it won't end because I evolved, it it's just becomes a break. As expected, I should divide my objective into small and achieve it one by one because it feels more efficient. The present objective is to evolve. Strengthen fire resistance. Find the exit. There's no need to find the exit in a hurry, so even if I found the exit, it will only feel that it's good. It would be troublesome if I meet with human beings. Human being. What should I do if I really meet one? I don't think that I will kill it willingly, <clears throat> that I will kill willingly, but if they attack me, I will counterattack. To be frank, I don't have the feeling of evasion towards murder when I was in Japan. Ah, I think that I probably don't have much feelings like that when I was in Japan. It was troublesome, so even if I do it, there's no meaning to it. When thinking so, if I kill a human being in this world, it might be troublesome. It might be troublesome. I also don't want 
them to mark to me down. <clears> hmm. <throat> I wonder should I escape if I meet a human being? I don't even know how strong is the human being in this world. Are all human beings equal to the dragon class? Well, I don't think that they are ne that to that extent because they didn't break through the middle layer. Anyway, let's pray that we don't come across. She could probably fuck up a human. One, yeah, probably. <clears throat> Pretty easily. Like a lot of poison and shit. Spiders are scary. A lot of a lot of humans, maybe not. Uh, humans with fire, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. She could she could probably fuck up a human though. I just. Or she could just sneak around, you know? Sneak around, slowly learn their language, and then evolve into the uh, Arachne. <clears throat> That's a smart plan.